What is Space Mesh? If you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe for more. Space Mesh aims to create the world's most decentralized, fairly distributed cryptocurrency. One of the main challenges facing cryptocurrency today is how to fairly get it into the hands of billions of people across the globe without requiring them to buy it with a local currency. Space Mesh believes the current methods for coin distribution, such as ICOs, airdrops, participation in mining pools, and IEOs, all have serious deficiencies, and that problem remains unsolved. Space Mesh has a low barrier to entry method for solving this problem, which I'll discuss soon. Space Mesh aims to create a cryptocurrency that is highly usable as a means of payment between any two people without being censored. The Space Mesh team aims to solve issues involved in PAL based consensus mechanisms such as centralization of mining pools and ASIC mining, as well as issues with uh, POS based consensus mechanisms such as centralized plutocracy of rich validators, the incentives for validators to collude to diverge from the protocol, and the strong centralization of consensus forces. The team will also enable creators, writers, artists, and more to enforce terms of payment contracts, ensuring that they get paid for their work and social inequality will be reduced. Space Mesh is a decentralized platform based on a novel block mesh rather than a blockchain structure. Space Mesh uses a novel proof of space protocol structured as a layered directed acyclic graph or DAG for short. Users who want to run Space Mesh need to set aside some of their disk space. Space Mesh, like other blockchains, requires users to provide a scarce resource, um, is committed to the system, and it does this with disk space, which everyone, even with a cheap laptop, has. And this is needed to ensure the security of the system. In Space Mesh, this resource is disk space and something that millions of people around the world have access to on their home computers, which means that joining Space Mesh can be basically costless for a home user. And using disk space makes the Space Mesh protocol ASIC resistant and consumes significantly less energy compared to blockchain systems based on proof of work. All right, let's dive into the components that make up Space Mesh. Space Mesh uses a mesh structure as opposed to a one-dimensional chain. The mesh is divided into layers, which are sets of blocks. As long as all blocks follow the protocol rules, they will be included in the ledger. This means that the block producers are no longer racing to create the next block, thus removing the associated perverse incentives and in block submission. By using a mesh instead of a chain, Space Mesh can process a significant amount of transactions within a given time frame, and it also allows smeshers to receive rewards more frequently as compared to block producers in a traditional blockchain. A layer is a set of blocks published at the same time. Layers occur in fixed time intervals, for example, five minutes. Immediately as every layer is published, its blocks are processed by smeshers as their validity status is determined using the Hare consensus protocol. Blocks contain lists of transactions to be added to the ledger and additional data to achieve consensus. Technically, each block belongs to a single layer and a smesher that creates it knows the correct time to publish it. Blocks explicitly state which blocks in previous layers they extend, an action called voting. Each block votes for the blocks in previous layers that it, or more accurately, the smesher generated it, considers valid. If a block gets enough votes, it's included in the ledger. Block votes according to the Hare and Tortoise consensus protocols. A smesher is a participant in the network. Smeshers get to create and submit blocks of transactions to be added to the ledger. They also participate in the Hare Consensus Protocol. Smeshers play a critical role in ensuring the stability of the network. To become a smesher, one needs to run the Space Mesh app and allocate disk space for a designated period of time. Smeshers are incentivized for their efforts via transaction fees and by receipt of smeshing reward for creating blocks. 
Non-interactive proof of space-time, in short, NIPOST, is a given proof given by a smesher that is committed disk disk space was used for the space mesh protocol over a designated period of time. The proof is self-contained and it requires no interaction with the proving smesher. It combines proof of space and time and proof of time algorithms and each smesher needs to publish NIPOST in order to um, become eligible to smesh blocks and keep on publishing NEPOS to maintain their eligibility. Proof of space time is a sub protocol of NEPOS. It is the algorithm that pr proves that the committed disk space was used for the space mesh protocol. The algorithm first generates unique data that occupies the committed disk space. Once the initialized phase is complete, each execution for the POS algorithm proves provides a proof of existence of that data. The smesher executes the POS after each full execution of the POET algorithm. Proof of elapsed time is a sub-protocol of NEPOST. It's the algorithm that measures time. Elapsed time is measured by iterating a sequential work that takes a set amount of time to execute. The algorithm proves that the proof has worked sequentially for a predetermined number of cycles and thus proves that the period of time by its parameters has elapsed during its entire execution. Proof of elapsed time is not run locally by a smesher. Users query continual proof of elapsed time servers. As a result, the entire network may only need a small number of proof of elapsed time servers. The HAIR protocol is a Byzantine fault tolerant consensus protocol that is used in order to get an agreement about which blocks in a given layer should be considered valid and thus vote on by all smeshers. The space mesh protocol guarantees that blocks that are published on time will be considered valid. The tortoise is a vote counting protocol that is used in order to finalize block validity. For each block, the tortoise constantly tallies all the votes both for and against it. Once a confirmation threshold is passed, it announces whether a blocker is, is valid or invalid. Ideally, the validity results of the hare and tortoise should be in agreement with each other. However, the tortoise guarantees that smeshers will reach consensus, even if the hare protocol fails, such as a failure is extremely unlikely, but over a long enough time period, even very low probability events may eventually occur. Thus, even though the tortoise is slower than the hare, ensures that consensus is reached on the entire history of the ledger. The ledger is the ongoing official recorded history of transactions. The ledger is updated one day layer at a time. Once there is an agreement about the validity of all blocks in a layer, the transactions from all valid blocks are added to the ledger. And regarding energy use, with 85 transactions per second and 1 million space mesh home smeshers, the cost for transaction in terms of power consumption is about $0.03 cents per month on space mesh. And when you compare that to Bitcoin, shown in the picture there, it's about $50, and that's a big difference. So in summary, space mesh makes it easy for anyone to participate. It's built on a mesh, not a blockchain and it uses proof of space and time. A lot of the information that I got uh, came from their FAQ um, and overview sections on their website. And that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this content. Please like and subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.